Want to take a second and show you these new Baskerville muzzles that we sell? We sell a lot of muzzles. We sell cloth muzzles. We sell um, these Baskerville muzzles. We sell uh, leather police canine muzzles. Uh, we sell plastic muzzles that go over dogs' heads. But there's a place for these muzzles that we like, and that's for dogs that chew. This is a hard rubber. Uh, the beauty of it is, is that it uh, allows a dog to breathe. Uh, there's less time for them to get adjusted to it. Uh, it has a strap that goes between the dog's ears and can be tightened down so that the dog can't easily pull it off with his feet. There is a little bit of training to do when you use a muzzle like this, but we have a free streaming video on our website that teaches dogs, teaches handlers how to condition their dog to wear a muzzle. But we like these Baskerville muzzles. They come in six different sizes, even for little bitty dogs like this, and for uh, dogs that are bigger, that we use larger ones than this one. The Baskerville muzzle is a good muzzle. A point to mention here is that I always mention when I talk about muzzles is, don't ever use one of those inexpensive, cheap little cloth muzzles for anything other than going to your vet. That's what it's for. Those cloth muzzles keep a dog's nose uh, or mouth closed and they can't breathe well, and when they get stressed, they can't pant in them, and they overheat. So it has, those cloth muzzles have one purpose and one purpose only, and that's going into your vet. There are many other muzzles that have very good purposes, and these Baskerville muzzles are one of them. If you have a chewing dog, and you want to leave them in your house when you're not there, these are the perfect muzzles for that.